Germany is at a crossroads, facing a high-stakes showdown with China that could change everything. What's driving this tension? We're about to dive into a massive investment shaking up Europe's tech scene and putting Germany's relationship with China on edge. This goes way beyond business. There's a lot riding on it. Stay with us as we uncover how this could redefine Germany's future and Europe's role in the global tech game. Things are heating up, and this story is just getting started. But before we get into the details, hit that like button and subscribe to Tech Revolution. We're all about bringing you the latest and greatest updates, so you don't want to miss out. All right, let's get right into it. Have you ever stopped to think about how much we rely on tiny computer chips in our everyday lives? From our smartphones to the cars we drive, these little guys are everywhere. Recently, something big happened in the world of semiconductors that's worth talking about. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company is setting up a massive chip factory in Dresden, Germany. Sounds exciting, right? But while this news is great for Europe, it comes with some interesting twists, especially when it comes to China. Let's dive into the juicy details of this project. On August 20th, 2024, TSMC officially broke ground on a whopping 10 billion euros plant in Dresden, which is part of what's affectionately known as Silicon Saxony. This isn't just any old factory. It's a joint venture called the European Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, ESMC. TSMC has a 70% stake in this venture, while German heavyweights Robert Bosch and Infineon Technologies, along with Dutch NXP Semiconductors, each hold a 10% stake. So, what's the big idea? Well, this factory is set to produce semiconductors that are super important for a bunch of applications, especially in the automotive industry, which has been struggling with chip shortages lately. We're talking about creating around 2,000 high-tech jobs, which is fantastic news for the local economy. And once it's up and running, the plant is expected to crank out 40,300 millimeter or 12-inch wafers every month. That's a serious amount of chips. Now, why is this investment such a big deal for Europe? Well, Europe is really eager to secure its technological future. The EU Chips Act, rolled out in early 2022, aims to boost semiconductor production in Europe from a mere 9% of global output to an impressive 20% by 2030. To help make this happen, the European Commission has given the green light for 5 billion euros in state aid for the Dresden project. That's the largest subsidy granted under the EU CHIPS Act so far. At the groundbreaking ceremony, Ursula von der Leyen, the president of the European Commission, was practically glowing with excitement. She said, this is a true win-win situation for all of us. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz chimed in, highlighting how crucial semiconductor access is for Germany's economy. This partnership with TSMC is seen as a major move to ensure that Europe can keep up with its growing tech demands while fostering innovation right at home. But wait, while all this sounds fantastic, we can't ignore the geopolitical implications that come along for the ride. Germany's relationship with China, its biggest trading partner, adds a bit of spice to this collaboration. China sees Taiwan as a breakaway province, and they're not too keen on any strengthening of diplomatic ties with Taipei. So, this German-Taiwanese partnership raises some eyebrows and concerns about potential backlash from Beijing. Mathieu Duchatel, the Director of International Studies at the Institut Montaigne, pointed out that Germany is treading carefully here. They want to keep the Dresden investment focused on business, not politics. Antonia Hamidi, a senior analyst at the German think tank Merix, agrees, saying that the German government has done a solid job of framing the TSMC investment as primarily economic. This careful balancing act is super important, especially since officials are on high alert not to poke the bear that is China. Germany has been walking a tightrope in its dealings with Beijing 
trying not to jeopardize its significant trade interests. The government's strategy has involved sticking to a disciplined messaging approach to avoid any misunderstandings that could escalate tensions. Now, let's shift gears and talk about some of the cool educational and collaborative initiatives that are popping up because of this partnership. The state of Saxony is really keen on strengthening ties with Taiwan, especially in areas relevant to TSMC's operations. In March 2023, German Education Minister Bettina Stark-Watzinger made a historic visit to Taiwan, marking the first ministerial visit in 25 years. This wasn't just a casual trip. It showed how eager both sides are to foster educational exchanges and partnerships. Saxony's science minister, Sebastian Gemkow, has also been busy building connections. He opened a science liaison office in Taiwan during a visit in September last year, which aims to facilitate collaborations in research and technology. This is all about tackling one of the big challenges in semiconductor manufacturing, finding enough skilled talent. A brand new student exchange program has been launched, allowing around 30 students from Saxony to study in Taiwan for six months, including internships at TSMC. Sounds good, right? Gemkow is optimistic about expanding collaborations in various sectors, from culture to tourism and language training. While we don't have specific timelines for these initiatives just yet, the potential for growth is definitely there. As TSMC's new plant in Dresden gets going, a few challenges and future implications are already coming up. One of the big ones? The ongoing shortage of skilled talent in the semiconductor industry. Joseph Goldberger, who's leading Saxony's Science Liaison Office, is really pushing the need for workforce development to keep up with the growing demand in semiconductor manufacturing. Then there's the ever-changing geopolitical landscape. This investment could shake things up a bit, with Taiwan possibly wanting to use these partnerships for more political recognition. Meanwhile, Germany will likely want to keep things low-key to protect its economic interests. Duchatel even mentioned that while Taiwan might want to make this collaboration a bigger political deal, Germany will probably try to avoid any misunderstandings that could complicate things with China. Looking at the bigger picture, TSMC's investment is a smart move for Germany and Europe to boost their tech independence and cut down on risks tied to global supply chain disruptions. The pandemic really exposed some serious vulnerabilities, and by investing in local semiconductor production, Europe hopes to shield itself better from future shocks. So, what's the takeaway for Germany, Taiwan, and Europe. The start of TSMC's semiconductor plant in Dresden is a big step as Europe works to beef up its tech game in a competitive global market. While this investment could bring major economic benefits and create jobs, it also comes with some risks, especially when it comes to Germany's relationship with China. As Europe tries to navigate this complex landscape, the TSMC project will be a real test of its ability to balance economic goals with geopolitical realities. Success will depend not only on getting the plant up and running smoothly, but also on managing diplomatic relations carefully in this interconnected world. In the end, this partnership with Taiwan could change Europe's role in the global semiconductor industry. But it'll take some careful planning to handle the challenges and make the most of the opportunities ahead. What do you think? Will Germany be able to balance this tech partnership with Taiwan without upsetting China? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And that's a wrap for today. Stay tuned for more updates and see you in the next one.